Hello everyone and welcome back to My Crafting World. My name is Anna. I wanted to share with you guys really quickly a memory decks card that I have made for a swap. So this is the front. It is layered three times. It is layered, um, it's got thick cardstock in the middle. It's got pink on the back and it has got um, the Mente, let me see what it's it is. called, Mente Lovely Day. So I got this in my February uh, design team kit and I used, which one did I use? I don't remember which one I used. It's in here. Let me see. I used this one. Mm. No, I used this one. Yep, this is the one that I used uh, for the front, although you can't see it very well because it's hidden under um, all the embellishments. But, and I also used pink cardstock. So what I did here was I made a little, I needed to fill in spots. So I did use some of the bling and these are just little pieces of cardstock that came out of when I punched out uh, the hello and I had punched out a couple of other things. So these are just the little dot that came out, the negative pieces that came out of things that I had punched out. And I put ink around the edges. I made this tiny little flower right here and what i did was on the, in the center it's one of those little it was a a bow with that ribbon uh rose in the center well i just took the bow part off and used the ribbon center and then i i made another small little uh flower here and again the center is just uh one of those little uh negative pieces from another die cut and then I put a little cluster of butterflies here in this corner, flying up to the flowers. And I put bling throughout the um, the memory decks card. And then in the center, um, I put this uh, die cut. This is a Sizzix die cut. And then I put a little cluster of flowers. I made a fork bow. And then these little centers, the stamen. And I put a, uh, a leaf... Uh, you know, just a little leaf cut out, die cut, die cut. Um, and I did ink the edges. I just think I should have gone a little heavier on the edges to um, make it stand out a little bit more. And then I cut one of the little, um, one of the little, you know, die cuts, one of the little die cuts from the, um, the page. So I put that up on dimension pink dimension and then I put a pink background on it so it'll stand out a little bit more and then this little ribbon is there for a reason it is keeping this closed because if I open that up and I will open that up and this becomes a pop-up page or a pop-up uh, like a pop-up card and that is how this turned out I love it we, you know, I, I was supposed to make a memory decks card with a lot of dimension and I just, I've seen them. They just, for some reason, don't, don't turn out well for me. I feel like it's a hot mess and I'm just gluing, you know, for me, I've seen other ones that look gorgeous, but for me, I just feel like I'm making a hot mess, just gluing, you know, ephemera on top of ephemera. And to me, mine have no rhyme or reason. So I chose not to do that. So I just thought that this was a cool little idea to make a little pop-up card um, on, you know, and glue it onto the memory decks card. I would, I say that has dimension. So hopefully that's going to count. But anyway, so, and I did use a magnet. Um, there's a magnet under here, under the little butterfly, and it'll keep it closed. There you go, guys. I thought I would share that with you, and I thought it turned out pretty cool. All right, guys, that was my quick share for the day, and I will talk to everyone later. Y'all have a great day, and don't forget those thumbs up. Love you guys.